Hello, I'm Roy Bolson, and this is my televised program. Welcome to my program. You may know me from my newspaper column, and the people in charge of this television company have decided to give me my own program. So congratulations to you, congratulations to me. Let's start the program. Now, I know it can be a bit awkward to meet new people. So I thought I'd break the ice and tell a few jokes. What do you call a pig that does karate? A pork chop! <laughs> That's fun. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can't opener! What did the pub critic's wife say to him when he got home? I don't love you anymore, Roy! I know you're all wondering what this program is all about. Basically, it's like my newspaper columns, except you see it. I, I, I think they call it live action. About a year ago, I went to visit Albert Edwards at his establishment, Albert's. He told me all about the day-to-day -day running of the pub and why it's so important to the locals. Let's crack on to the video. Any of you seen my cocaine? Welcome to Albert's. In case you didn't notice, this is a pub. It is a family run pub. And I'm here to check it out. Now this is a pad. Now, what is a pad? A pad isn't actually a type of drink. It is a unit of measurement. But the term is used colloquially in drinking establishments. That's fantastic. You see, a pad isn't just a drink. It's a way of life. Like watching Barnsley. Or taking your mum out on a Sunday for a prey. Or telling her dad to calm down. They're just the local boys, Dad. They'll be back in school when the summer ends. A pub is also great for mingling with the locals and engaging in conversation, such as, Oh, hi, Brenda. Is that a new dress you bought? No. I already bought this one a few months back. All right. Great stuff. Pub is also a great place to have a bit of a long time. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, thanks, Rhett. Uh, uh, come, come talk to me at my televised program. Uh, Albert, this is Albert Edwards. Uh, thanks for letting me into your fine establishment. No, it's, it's, it's 
It's, uh, it's good to have you here, Roy. It's a fantastic place for all the family. And, uh... I was a bit worried when I... When I, when I <laughs> Take it seriously, Albert. Sorry. I was a bit worried a while ago. Me and this shit off a massive workload. But, uh... One of the things I found really fascinating in your establishment, when I went to, I haven't noticed this in other pubs up and down the country, but uh, you have these like mini toilets on the walls. The your rooms, yeah. They're new. Is that what they're, they're called? New. Oh, yeah. They're the, the latest technology. Oh, in, I... um, well, it is the late 1960s, the most modern the world will ever be. But, but yes, uh, I was fascinated by him, and uh, one, one, one thing though, I, I, there was no flush. I couldn't flush down my, my massive workload. You, you shouldn't have to, it should... What, what did you do with it? What are they used for? You, they're, they're urinals for... For pissing in. All right. I did the other thing. Okay. Okay. Um. No, no, it's fine. I'll um. I'll get someone to clean that. I guess. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Here, have a laugh. My joke book. Plus review book. Thanks. Don't worry. It's all good words about you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks again. No, no problem. So anything else are you find at the, at the point? I have a packet of KP nuts to be nice. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. Cool. I'll just go. Thank you, Alvi. That was Albert's. I had a smashing time. Now back to me in the studio, in the future. Roy. You haven't paid your tab. All right. I, 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 it's an honest mistake, Albert. Yeah. You know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trick you at all. In fact, I hate when people trick other people. When kids come to my house on Halloween, they come to my door and they say, trick or treat. And I say, don't trick people. How much do I owe you? Ten. Oh, all right. Um, I'll pay you next year. You better. I promise. I promise, Albert. My televised program. Someone owes me a tenner, right? So I don't care which one of you is it. But...
Welcome back. A year has passed. I don't mean me, I, not really. I, well, a year hasn't really... You see, I don't mean the people in, in the studio. I meant, I meant the clip you just saw. I, I didn't time travel. I haven't, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Anyway. I'm now joined again in the flesh by Albert Edwards. Albert, how have you been since I last saw you? Well, uh, been out of work. My wife left me and my newborn son. You ruined me. Oh. Why is that? The health inspector shut us down because of you. What do you mean? That mess you made in the bathroom. Well, you, you could have just cleaned it. We we tried. We we tried. We tried everything. What did you eat? It attracted big rats. My dietary habits are none of your business. Thank you very much. They are when it destroys my family's legacy. That pub has been passed down through three generations, and that's all going down the shitter now. Pardon the pun. I think you're being very unfair here, Albert. All I've done is relieve my bowels and your establishment. And come to think of it, I did feel a little under the weather that day. But it was nothing to do with what I ate. It was because of your scummy pants that riddled your minds. That's probably what attracted the big rats. Actually, Joe, you know I think the rats are probably just being drawn to their fucking leader. Ah, I'm refusing to accept any blame in this bizarre fiasco. It's your fault. Don't put miniature toilets on the wall if you don't want people to shit in them. You're an absolute joke. I, I can't believe that you've been given your own televised programme. That's not what your wife said. Excuse me? That's right, Albert. After I shat in your room, I went upstairs and had my way with your wife. Come here, you fucking bastard. All right, no problem. I'll send you back in. Oh. sort of got revenge um not getting the pub back but um I, I knocked him out so that's that's something um I hope Duncan when you're older you never ever have to cross paths with Roy Bolson because that man will ruin your life. And I hope you never even work with him on some sort of weird documentary about pubs in rural Ireland. If you're like his producer or something. I hope, I hope that never happens. I'll see you tomorrow.